last verse for St. Simon and St. Jude. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with your voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, for you are merciful and you love your whole creation, and we, your creatures, glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set the watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God, in you I take refuge, strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen.
Have mercy upon me, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say who will show us any good. Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Hear us, we beseech thee, O Lord, and have mercy upon us in our tribulations. And as thou alone art glorious over the people, Give spiritual gladness to us who look for the hope of thine eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Rise up, O saints of God, from vain ambitions turn. Christ rose triumphant that your hearts with nobler zeal might burn. Speak out, O saints of God, despair engulfs earth's frame. As heirs of God's baptismal grace, his word of hope proclaim. Rise up, O saints of God, His kingdom's task embrace. Redress sin's cruel consequence, Give justice larger place. Give heed, O saints of God, Creation cries in pain. Stretch forth your hand of healing now, with love the weak sustain. Commit your hearts to see the paths which Christ has trod, and quicken by the Spirit's power, rise up, O saints of God.
a reading from St. John, the 14th chapter. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things have I spoken to you while I am still with you, but the Helper the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from St. Ignatius of Antioch. I exhort you, be eager to do everything in God's harmony, with the bishop presiding in the place of God, and the presbyters in the place of the council of the apostles and the deacons, most sweet to me, entrusted with the servants of Jesus Christ who before the ages was with the Father and was made manifest at the end. All of you then, having received a divine agreement in your convictions, admonish one another and let no one view his neighbor in a merely human way, but constantly love one another in Jesus Christ. Let there be nothing in you that can divide you, but be united with the bishop and with those who preside, for an example and lesson of imperishability. And then, as the Lord did nothing apart from the Father, either by himself or through the apostles, since he was united with him, so you must do nothing apart from the bishop and the presbytery. Do not try to make anything appear praiseworthy by yourselves. But let there be in common one prayer, one petition, one mind, one hope in love, in blameless joy, which is Jesus Christ, than whom nothing is better. All of you must run together as to one temple of God, as to one sanctuary, to one Jesus Christ, who proceeded from the Father and is with the one and departed to the other. St. Ignatius of Antioch. O God, we thank you for the glorious company of the apostles, especially on this day for Simon and Jude. And we pray that as they were faithful and zealous in their mission, so we may, with ardent devotion, make known the love and mercy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
in many and various ways God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers. To Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. In peace let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For this holy assembly and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For all bishops, for all pastors in Christ, for all servants of the church and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For our public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health and protection in this and every place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord, great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers, for the sick and suffering, for captives and for all who are in need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance,
deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the faithful who have gone before us and are at rest, let us give thanks to the Lord. Alleluia. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, O God, by your grace. In the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the bearer of God, Saint Simon, Saint Jude, and all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, as the shadows lengthen, let Christ the day star rise in holiness and righteousness within our hearts, so that you may look with favor on us while we give you thanks, now as daylight departs, and again in the morning when we make our prayers to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.